are living successfully. Byron Katie has just ended crime in the world, and it's so simple. Yes, and it's yet, done from within us. It's done from within, and it has to be done individually, personally. So what, what it sounds like is, I can't go out and change the world. No. How can you change the world if you don't know what it is in the first place? I mean, how can you teach what you don't have? Until you end war within you, you're not a teacher of how to end war. So yes, Angel, it's about you. And with the work, and I guess that's what you're doing these days, and that's what you've been sharing with other people, is what's called the work. Yes, it always call it the work of Byron Katie. It always comes down to an individual, doesn't it? It's yes, not it a does. cause, it's not anything that's going on no. out there. No, it's not. No, everyone's welcome to it. It's four questions and a turnaround, and it's an offering, and it doesn't even request that people inquire. It's just, it just is kind of a love offering that waits to be discovered. It didn't wait for you necessarily, though, did it? Just a, a sudden enlightenment, perhaps? That's what people call it, and it didn't feel enlightened to me. I had every concept that the world holds. And so I simply met each one as I would my children if I knew how. And at that point, I did. I met each concept with simple understanding. And each time I did that, it would dissolve. I mean, would we meet the, our friend with anger or, or rage the way that I did? You know, not if we know another way. So that's how I met the thoughts. Just one by one, like my children just inquiring, just meeting them with some understanding. And then the fourth question is, who would you be without the story? Who would you be in your life without the story people are not supposed to steal? I want people to stop stealing. Who would you be without that story in the face of the thief? It does rather take the fire out of things, doesn't it? Yeah, you may be one to be trusted, one that I could stand with, one with a way, one that's attractive enough that... I could understand. I can see that. The four questions that you mentioned, would you be willing to go through those again once more? Yeah. I, I must admit, when you asked the first one, I was stopped cold, and it just, it, it, it's really powerful. So the questions are, and people can find them on the World Wide Web, but the first one is, is it true? And so you can take anything and ask that question, is yes, it true? Anything, anything, and just go in. I like to say the simple way is to do what you do best. Judge your neighbor, write it down, ask four questions, turn it around. The first one is, is it true? And then the next one is, can you really know that it's true? So you get two shots at that one. And then what do you get for holding the belief? And then who would you be without it? And then the turnaround. People are not supposed to steal, turn it around. How could you turn that around? Put your name on it. People are not supposed to steal. I'm not supposed to steal. Oh, I see. Yes. If this is your philosophy and this is what you've been teaching all your life, thou shalt not steal. People should not steal. Then you turn it around and you live your own morality. This isn't the world's morality. It's yours. It's for you to live, not us. We steal. That's what we do. And if this is your morality, and again, if it's what you've been preaching to your children, your friends, your spouses, the world, then turn it around and live it. And that's the truth lived. And it's a full-time job. I say it keeps people occupied with a place that would serve, you know, just healing themselves. That's for sure. Mm. People have been seeking you out, and I know just reading your story in the book was a wonderful experience for me. I rarely pick up a book and just can't put it down, and I really want to read all of it. Yours was one like that. Oh, honey, thank you for that. What would you say attracts people to the work that you're doing? It's just kind of word of mouth, and they see a way from maybe their friend, a way and a, a transformation that's quite remarkable, and then that friend attracts them to the inquiry. I think that's how it works, because we don't ever advertise. My friend Melanie is in the office, and, and she talks to people all over the world, and 
they ask for a little book, and because people donate money, we can just send it out at no charge and put it up on the website, and anyone can print it. So we make sure that it's available always. And the website, what is the address for that? Well, if they get on a search engine and just look up Byron Katie, it will take them directly to it. Those four questions are wonderful, and it's too simple. You know, I think the mind, mind certainly wants to complicate it. I want to have more facts and figures, and, and let's make this difficult. Yes. Yeah, that's the only complaint about the work. That's the only one I've ever heard is it's just too simple. And, of course, it's not. I like to say the work is for children. Adults can't play. They know too much. <laughs> Gravity is simple, too, and we can argue about it and yes. still end up on our bottoms. Yeah. So the work followed your awakening, didn't it? It came immediately, and as I said, it took a while to verbalize it in a way that other people could experience in the share equal way of my experience and that's the value of this work people enter the experience not a theory so, um, so there's nothing really to learn no no it's just four little questions and a turnaround again judge your neighbor write it down ask four questions turn it around you're listening to byron katie and i'm bob keaton we're in san francisco at the whole life expo and we'll continue on living successfully and we're on the web too at www.livingsuccessfully.com this is Living Successfully with Bob Keaton.